people accusing BJP President Rajnath Singh of insulting him, senior party leader Jaswan Singh has stated that he repents joining BJP. Addressing a gathering in Barmer, Jaswan Singh said BJP has changed from what it was. Jaswan Singh said even a pun isn't treated the way he was by the BJP. Uh, taking backtracking there, uh, just a couple of days ago, Jaswan Singh had stated that he is a staunch supporter of the BJP. But uh, it looks like uh, Jaswan Singh has now gone ahead and uh, gotten emotional over the same. In a very, very emotional uh, speech, uh, he went on to state that uh, he was very upset to the way he was treated and that BJP has changed from the way it was. He also went on uh, to state that people like Vasundra Raja, the Rajasthan chief minister, as well as BJP president Rajnath Singh, have betrayed him. My colleague Nolan joins us with more information. Nolan, more and more clear that there is a rift within the BJP and just one saying not mincing his words to slam the BJP. Very true. In fact, uh, this morning, tweets came out uh, stating that uh, he decided to take this, uh, basically this decision after his supporters asked him to do so. Now, a very emotional speech. Now, at the age of 76, imagine, at 76, he is now officially a rebel. Now, when the BJP told him that day he cannot run as its candidate from Bamar in Rajasthan, he decided to go solo. He filed his nomination papers as an independent candidate uh, this noon, some few hours ago. Now, basically, if I have to talk about what he said there, he said that he's the one who suggested Vasundra Rajay for chief minister and Rajnath Singh for president. And now those same people have betrayed him. He's been in the, uh, he's been in the party for a very long time. He was the defense minister uh, uh, in, uh, during the uh, Vajpayee era. So basically, he, he's seen a lot. He knows a lot. The old rung of leaders. Now, he says that he's upset that these people have betrayed not just him, but the principles of the BJP. And he says that uh, the way he was expelled after the BJP Shimla convention, even a Chaprasi isn't treated like that. So he's not minced any words. He's gone about it, uh, uh, stating it how he feels from the heart. He says that this is not a fight for me, but the principles, for the principles on which the party was set up. He says uh, that his first prince, uh, preference was Bamar. He's been an MP for nine terms. Nine terms is do a calculation of nine fives are 45. So... 45 years he has represented that particular constituency. The people know him, the people love him. So he feels that, you know, after doing so much there and, and winning from there, the BJP has just uh, chucked him out. Now, uh, he had requested that his name be declared earlier, since it's a large constituency, but it was not done. And he said it's a, done in a very planned manner of not giving him. He says the ticket was given to someone who had crossed over for the Congress, and this isn't my betrayal. The BJP workers have been betrayed, he says. Because here, a loyal BJP worker, a loyal BJP leader for so many years, representing this constituency for nine terms, that's 45 years, and suddenly a person from the Congress who's joined over to the BJP and has been given this, he says that uh, it'll be trouble over there. And uh, again, he says, I was asked, how do you feel after I filed my nomination? And I said I was relieved. And now he says that the fight is between the old and new ideologies within the party itself. Right, Nolan. In fact, just a couple of days ago when someone had asked him if he would, uh, in fact, uh, plan on joining Congress, he continued uh, to very clearly state that he is still a very staunch supporter of uh, the BJP. But clearly that sentiment has changed uh, considering the ordeal that he's been through, considering, of course, as you pointed out, he's a very senior leader with the BJP. Very true. In fact, he says that uh, he, was, uh, he was disturbed when this happened because he assumed and presumed that they would give it to him. And see, the BJP wants to make Modi the Prime Minister, so every single uh, uh, MP that they can count on is very important who can win. The winnability, winnability factor is very important here. So he believes that uh, this is a conspiracy to throw him out of the party like the BJP has been doing, or shifting old-timers, right from uh, Murli Manu Joshi, L.K. Adwani, so uh, many, many senior leaders. Now, the new rung of leaders uh, led by Modi, Arun Jaitley, Rajnath Singh, now, they have been trying to push over all these, uh, basically you can say the uh, Vajpai uh, Advani era sort of leaders. But it's a little surprising because Jaswan Singh, here you're, you're talking about the winnability factor again, uh, Akshita. He has won from this constituency so many years. He is going to win it again. He's so sure. Uh, the people love him there. The workers like him there. And uh, still they decided to actually upset the apple cart, you can call it. So he has not uh, taken this very well. And considering what has happened that he has filed his nomination as an independent, the BJP is in trouble over there.
Right, uh, Nolan, thank you so much for joining us with uh, all that information. But uh, Jasmin Singh, they're getting rather emotional when speaking about his journey in the BJP, about uh, this betrayal, as he terms it. Let's listen in to what uh, Jasmin Singh had to say. Yes, I मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूँ कि यही वसुधा जी जब मुख्यमंत्री बनने का सवाल आया था तो अटल जी और रानी जी ने मुझसे पूछा था हमें कार्यकारी की बैठक में जा रहे थे एक भी हाल जाए हैं इसके ऊपर क्या निर्णय लेना चाहिए उस वक्त मैंने कहा था राजस्थान से वसुधा जी को हम मुख्यमंत्री पद के लिए